It was established many, many months ago that the 3028 telecast of Apollo 11 is thoroughly busted. And every member of the Moonlighting Hoax conspiracy movement agrees. Yet, there are still many psychotic propagandists who desperately cling to this dead horse. On September 8th, 2007, YouTube user S Vector re-released his video, Lunar Legacy Part 5. The film had previously been removed for copyright infringement after he aggressively propped up a straw man which he then tried to pin on both Bart Sabrell and David Percy. Watch now and you'll discover the clear reason neither of them wanted to show this TV transmission from Apollo 11 at 3028 mission time. It's important to note the shot never cuts away. His re-released video made no retraction of his exposed lies. But in the comments page of his video, Vector slipped in some more lies to his list. Despite the efforts of David Percy, Bart Sebrell, and Jara White to remove this extremely damaging information from public view, Lunar Legacy Part 5 is reborn, and truth once again prevails. People who know me personally will assure you that I am the gentleman who released the entire 3028 telecast after S Vector refused multiple requests to do so. In fact, after I released my video, Vector tried to save face, claiming I did him a favour. No doubt desperate to discredit me, Vector then stalked me onto Phil Jahan's Let's Roll 911.org forum with guns blazing. Before he was wisely banned, S Vector had this to say to me. You are without a doubt, the stupidest, most cowardly little girly man I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll bet you squat to pee don't you? I'm right aren't I? You squat, just like a girl when you have to piss, and admit it. You are a loser, a coward, a liar, and an ugly little c-u-n-t with a nappy ass pubic hair mustache to boot. Don't ever forget that. A man who is trying to remove extremely damaging information does not release it from start to finish for the whole world to see. Now let's watch his little gem, uncut, from start to finish and see if that's a fact. Before we do, keep in mind that I have not edited this footage in any way, and if you don't believe me, you can get your own copy and find out for yourself. This footage came from Spacecraft Films. There are only two people I can see who are trying to censor this material from public view. The first person is S Vector, and upon the release of my video, everyone saw why. Vector had painted himself into a corner, claiming he had taken his clip from a continuous source. These videos of Earth were one continuous shot with no edits. It's important to note, the shot never cuts away. In reality, the view of the Earth he calls extremely damaging information is from a cutaway shot in which no astronauts appear. In fact, there is a very obvious cut in the film moments before the Earth disappears behind the window. One David Greer at long last admitted this, only after three long months of pointless arguing and denying the existence of these cuts littered throughout the entire telecast. To make a claim, Vector merely selected only the footage that came after these frequent camera cuts and then said he took it from a continuous source. On his homepage, Vector had previously expressed an overinflated opinion of himself. The part 5 finale has confounded hardcore conspiracy theorists from all over the world. I ask, what hardcore conspiracy theorists? Every hardcore player that I know agrees that S Vector, Phantom Wolf and Shane Killian all got busted censoring their own evidence. Upon releasing his DVD, Vector marketed it with the following. In fact, it sent one of them into such a rage, he got his YouTube account cancelled trying to discredit it. First of all, I didn't try to discredit it, I succeeded. Second of all, 
My old YouTube account getting suspended had nothing to do with my response video to Luna Legacy, and he knows it. My video, Flagging the Gems, took the raw telecasts from Apollo 10 and compared them with NASA's official transcripts. My analysis proved that not only were these supposed live TV transmissions broadcast edited, but also that flight footage, which the transcript confirms to exist, was absent in the DVD set sold by Spacecraft Films as complete. No doubt in fear of what may happen to his business, Mark Gray of Spacecraft Films filed copyright infringement against my productions and got my account suspended. When I started my new account up, I re-released my response videos to Luna Legacy. Upon their release, Gray filed copyright infringement against my two podcasts, highlighting these cuts that were purposely excluded in Luna Legacy and Lunatunes. Knowing it was too dangerous to keep Apollo 11, the little gem, up on YouTube, I removed it myself to prevent my second account getting suspended. It seems to me that the only other person trying to remove this extremely damaging information from public view is Mark Gray, as he will not let me show you the edits and the footage. My account suspension had nothing to do with my initial response video that started it all, and S Vector knows it, as he was among the flock of vultures who decided to dodge the issue by hyping about my supposed infringement of copyright. What none of these vultures mentioned was what S Vector had previously said about this supposedly copyrighted material. To market his video, Sidrell uses an intriguing selling point. He says the film contains lost footage, which NASA sent to him by mistake. In fact, this so-called lost footage was placed in the public domain by NASA many years ago and is freely available as part of a DVD set by Spacecraft Films. It's too bad that he never bothered to check the dates in the two videos. Had he done so, he would have known that Sabrell's film premiered in April 2000. In fact, he received the Apollo 11 footage in July of 1999. Ironically, as revealed in S Vector's own movie, Spacecraft Films released their DVD a good three years later. It seems that NASA decided to declassify this footage after it was exposed to the world. Looking at everything we have established, it seems S Vector built a film on proven lies and now promotes it with even more proven lies. And yet, somehow, he expects an apology from me for calling him a bald-faced liar. Goodbye.